Hello everyone and welcome back to Comics with Kimberlina. Um, I'm sorry this is getting out really late. I had a very long day, busy day at work. I got home not too long ago. <laughs> um, yeah, so I stopped at Chick-fil-A on my way home for dinner and then I figured why not ask a question about Chick-fil-A or like just food in general because you know that's what I've been doing. So, today's question is, what is your favorite milkshake? It can be from Chick-fil-A or, like, from wherever. I had the uh, peach milkshake today, and it is one of my favorites. Um, I know it's a a seasonal one. Um, I also like their peppermint one, too. That one's out in the winter. But, yeah, comment below which is your favorite milkshake. Or maybe you don't like milkshakes. Just comment something that you like yeah all right let's get started with midnight poppy land episode 38 i wonder what you'd look like with braids in your hair (laughs) braids like the ones you had at chevy's you haven't been doing this braid thing with your hair lately. Oh yeah, I figured if I'm hanging out with you tonight, I should let my hair down. Live on the wild side for a bit. Wild, huh? I can show you wild. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she pulled his hair. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't be talking like that when someone's doing a hair, Tora. Would it kill you to stop being a perv for just one night? I'll stop being a perv if you can be gentle for just one night. (laughs) I'm always gentle, brah. Yeah, so gentle you threw me down the stairs. (laughs) Yo, she seriously did. That was the best thing I think Poppy has ever done. Was, like, legit push him down the stairs. It was great. A guilty ass charge. I'm sorry. You didn't get hurt, did you? I didn't mean to do that. I was just embarrassed because of, you know. But, um, oh, he brought it up. Forgive me, pretty please. Yeah, I, yeah, forget about it. Because of, you know, uh, I totally did that wrong, sorry. Uh, I didn't hurt myself or anything. But, um, but, um, but, um. I mean, obviously, you're still in one piece, so that's good. Really? So you're not mad at me? I'll even throw in a shoulder massage. If you'll forgive me, these nice broad shoulders must be aching after a long day at work. (laughs) A sucker. (laughs) It's fine. Just get your hands off my shoulders. You should be enjoying that she is giving you a massage, Dora. Come on. I hope you know what you're doing there. Here. Of course I do. It may seem girly, but it's actually very masculine. It's how the soldiers and warriors of ancient Narn used to wear theirs in the north. The legend has it that one of the greatest kings of northern Narn wore his super long, like touching the ground or something. I remember reading that. How did he take a dump with all that hair? I know, right? Poor dude. Maybe he wrapped it around his neck? Or maybe his queen held it up for him? (laughs) You awful. Whatever, don't really give a heck. Yeah, better make me look good, whatever you're planning to do. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Anyway, how did you know about this place? I read a ton of guidebooks before moving here, and they've never mentioned Regina's Peak or Thug's Pavilion. (laughs) Not exactly a popular tourist attraction. Just be, just some beat up old spot me and my friends discovered when we were kids. One of us had a van, so we'd drive up all the time. 
So I'm thinking, like here he mentioned the van, so I'm kind of thinking it was that white van. Remember in that one episode, it was like a bunch of kids with the van. It was like Airy Street Kings or something like that. And we could do whatever the heck we wanted up here. No grown-ups, no cops, none of that. Oof, I was complete opposite as a kid. I'd get anxious if grown-ups weren't around. Like, uh-oh, <laughs> what if I get lost? How do I get home? What if a bad person comes along? Jesus, Bob. Oh, Jesus. That's lame, Bobby. <laughs> So I'm a nerd. Sue me. But back to the topic. I shouldn't be asking you what you did up here. But but I feel like I must or I may die of curiosity. You know, the usual booze, drug party. Dr- nah, drug parties. Because I can't talk in any of these. Freaking out yet. Not really. Go on. What else did you do? I was just kidding. We mostly spent our time skateboarding and doing other stuff. Oh, that's cute. Your butt is cute. <laughs> He's irritated. Don't push your luck, buddy boy. <laughs> and there's graffiti up there. Whoa, that's a lot of graffiti. It's so dark, I didn't notice. But not by you, I guess, because you said you don't do art. Yeah, but it's kind of weird seeing him again. After so long. It's like the people are gone, but a part of them is still here. Yeah, I see what you mean. So, you're not in touch with them anymore? We drifted apart. The whole bunch? All of them, except for... Quincy. Qu- Mr. Quincy? Benjamin's teacher? Are you saying he was also a baby thug? Baby thug? He was just a baby piece of stuffing wanted to follow us everywhere we went but I guess I could have been less of a that to him <laughs> oi Tora <laughs> where are you going <laughs> I saw you cutting class yesterday <laughs> good eye you can go off back home now oh so that's Quincy your boss's son is that Goliath Uh, is that Goliath comment below do you guys think that's Goliath too I'm getting like Goliath vibes from that guy I mean no his hair is not as blue but I mean look Tori's hair is red here eh, cute kid looks like a chihuahua don't you think okay yeah comment below what who do you think that guy is wait so Quincy is your boss's son which boss is that sorry sweetheart that question's off limits y'all want me to finish the story or not nah? Oops, my bad. Carry on. Fat chance. You better bring me along or I'm telling dad. Uh, uh, hold on. What are you coming so close for? You better stop right there or I'm gonna... Kia? He screamed? Like a little Barbie. Hurry up, they're waiting for us in the van. Wait, I can't go without my pants. Give me, ba- oh my goodness, give me back my pants. 
They took his pants. No wonder why he gets a white writer's block. No one gives a stuffing. Go without your pants. You're monsters. I hate you. So, did he go without his... Yeah. OMG, poor Quincy. And they're just laughing. Alright, I'm gonna end this here and I'll be back in part two. Don't go anywhere.